In this video, I'm going to talk about a relatively new Gen 5 SSD from SK Hynix, the P51 Platinum. And uh, as you probably expect from a successor of the very popular P41 Platinum, uh, this is supposed to be a very, very fast drive. So let's check it out. Uh, let's see how it performs in all the usual benchmarks and uh, how it compares to a bunch of other drives that you can currently get. Let's begin. The P51 Platinum is available in three capacities. 500 gigabytes, 1 terabyte, and 2 terabytes. There is no mention of larger capacities just yet, which is a shame since the target audience for high performance drives usually wants higher capacity drives as well. This drive does not come with a heatsink, but looking at the power consumption that they mention, uh, you will definitely want to add some cooling to this drive. But uh, I'm going to talk about the actual thermals a bit later in this video. When we look at the specifications of this drive, the P51 uses as SK Hynix's own controller called the Alistar and their own 238-layer 3D TLC NAND. It comes with DRAM cache, a claim of 2 million hour mean time between failures, and a fairly typical 5-year long warranty. But it doesn't mention anything regarding encryption and there is no mention of an endurance rating. Now, with most other drives on the market, your warranty is also limited by a maximum amount of data written to the drive, which is uh, typically around 600 terabytes written per terabyte capacity, but that is not actually listed here at all. Now, let's look at some performance numbers, and as always, I'm going to start with the PC Mark 10 Quick Benchmark, uh, which is a nice collection of tests that simulate a lot of simple little things we do with our PCs every single day. So, working with documents, for example, looking at your vacation photos, uh, loading your games, and so on. And uh, this is actually a very useful benchmark for anyone that is looking for a drive uh, to use for those simple little tasks. So it is definitely not a use case that requires an expensive high-end Gen 5 SSD like this one, but you still want it to do well in this test. And the P51 Platinum ended up just ahead of the Samsung 9100 Pro and ahead of all Gen 4 drives I've tested so far, including its predecessor, the P41 Platinum. But there are other Gen 5 drives that are faster, with the SN8100 being ahead by quite a bigger margin. The full PC Mark 10 suite uh, simulates a more intense and a bit more serious use of the drive, and this is a great benchmark to look at if you're looking for a new main drive or you need to run some applications that can be heavier on your SSD. And here, the P51 sits right next to most of its competitors, like the Samsung 9100 Pro and the latest batch of Fison E26 controller-based drives, like the Corsair MP700 Pro SE or the Crucial T705. But again, the WD Black SN8100 is a bit faster in this test as well. If we look at the latency, the drives are more or less in the same order, so the P51 Platinum is at the top of the graph along with most of its competition, with the WD SN8100 holding the lead yet again. The consistency test is not that relevant for most people because uh, it simulates a very intense and a very extreme and multi-hour long workload that most of you will never ever do, but it is still very interesting to see how a drive will hold up when you really stress it for such a long time. And then especially so when you have an expensive high-end Gen 5 SSD uh, like the P51 Platinum. Now this result is a bit more interesting because uh, this is the only benchmark that is a bit more sensitive to the capacity of the drive tested. And while the P51 Platinum is not at the top of the graph, it is the fastest one terabyte SSD in this list, beating the Samsung 9100 Pro and even beating the two terabyte SN8100. So uh, this is actually a very good result for the SK Hynix. And I would really like to see if a two terabyte version would do even better. 3D Mark Storage is a benchmark that simulates a lot of uh, different gaming related tasks like uh, loading games, installing games, uh, recording your gameplay, uh, moving your game folders around and so on. And uh, this is a very useful benchmark for anyone that is looking for an SSD to primarily use for gaming. And the P51 Platinum did really well in this test too, just beating the crucial T705, Corsair MP700 Pro SE, MSI M580 and Aura's 14000, as well as the Samsung 9100 Pro. But the SN8100 that I tested recently still managed to keep its lead. 
And uh, if we just look at the gaming results that I personally find the most important, which is uh, loading times, installing games and updating your games, it holds a really nice second spot, just beating most of the competition on the market, with yet again the SN8100 being significantly ahead. Sequential read and write performance numbers don't really represent a proper real-life use as well as previous benchmarks do, uh, but it can still be a very useful metric for some people. And uh, when it comes to sequential writes, the P51 Platinum sits near the top in a spot that is near enough that it really doesn't make much of a difference and it's about the same for sequential reads as well. Which also means that it is well above Sony's required read speed for PlayStation 5 use. But uh, as I said many times before, uh, PlayStation does not support PCIe Gen 5 speeds just yet, so uh, buying an expensive Gen 5 SSD will not make much sense and you're probably better off just buying a more mainstream and less expensive DRAM based Gen 4 SSD instead. When it comes to thermals, the P51 Platinum is pretty much like every other Gen 5 SSD I've tested so far, and it can and it will get really hot and throttle if you stress it fully without any cooling on top of it. So you should definitely use a heatsink that comes with your motherboard, or you can actually buy a very simple third-party heatsink for a couple of euros or dollars and you'll be more than fine. As always, I'm going to leave some suggestions in the description box down below and if you want, you can go ahead and check it out. So the SK Hynix P51 Platinum is another Gen 5 SSD that competes very well with the rest of the options on the market. Uh, Performance-wise, it is actually quite similar to the Crucial T705, a Corsair MP700 Pro SE or the Samsung 9100 Pro, uh, with only the WD Black uh, SN8100 being significantly ahead in most benchmarks. Now, of course, the numbers can vary a little bit depending on the test that you're looking at, uh, but generally speaking, all the drives that I just mentioned are very competitive and uh, at the end of the day, the price or personal brand preference will be the deciding factor. So for the P51 Platinum to make sense, it needs to be priced competitively. And uh, this is actually the most complicated topic, especially for new drives that just launched, because they're usually way too expensive when they come out, but then they go down in price over time. In the US, the two terabyte version is now just becoming available at $270, which is less than you have to pay for the SN8100 and a bit above the price of the 9100 Pro and the T705. At that price, I don't think it makes that much sense, but if it starts going down and starts undercutting the competition, it definitely will. And the situation is very similar in Europe as well. At the moment, the two terabyte option is 280 euros, uh, which is just on the expensive side. The SN8100 is about 15 euros cheaper, the 9100 Pro about 50 euros, and the T705 about 75 euros cheaper. And if you're okay with getting a good Gen 4 drive, there are actually plenty of options that will cost you even less. But as I said before, the launch prices of every drive are quite high and they go down and settle to a more reasonable spot very, very quickly. And I do believe that the P51 here will not be an exception. So for now, the most important thing is to know what to expect from it, performance-wise, and uh, be prepared for when the prices do come down in the future. This video was brought to you by Seasonic and their Vertex power supplies. These fully modular power supplies are extremely efficient and very quiet due to their fan design and their hybrid fan mode that stops the fans completely under 40% load. They come with a variety of connections for any kind of system you have in mind and to wrap it all up they now offer a nice and cozy 12 year long warranty. Check them out using the links in the description below. Now thank you all for watching and sticking to the end of this video, I really hope it was interesting and helpful enough. Uh, if you liked it and you want to see more videos like this one, please do consider clicking that subscribe button so you never miss my future uploads. Bye guys and I will see you in the next one, bye!